guys, welcome back to another Lightning Collection review. And today I'm going to take a look at the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Rita Repulsa. So she is part of the new Deluxe Wave and she is an absolutely beautiful figure. I have had a chance to take a look at this because I've taken it out of the box, just make sure everything was there as I usually do. So this is an empty box. But it's definitely felt like a lot of effort to try and get this. So I had a lot of problems with my payment on Hasbro Pulse. So I tried multiple different payment methods and they were just not going through. And I don't know if there's an issue with my account or whatever. So I ended up having to cancel the pre-order and then reorder it again and then it still wasn't being dispatched. A little bit annoying from Hasbro Pulse because they are usually pretty good with uh, next day dispatching and stuff like that. But anyway, taking a look at the box, this is our normal Lightning Collection box for now. So anyway, we've got a Power Rangers Lightning Collection logo at the top telling us we're getting a Mighty Morphin Rita Repulsa in a plastic free packaging. It's got a nice bit of artwork up the top there. And then we've got Rita in her attempt to defeat the Power Rangers on the front looking very menacing. On the side, we do have our Mighty Morphin Power Ranger logo at the top with our 30th anniversary logo at the bottom. And on the other side, we have the 30th Power Ranger logo again at the bottom with a Mighty Morphin and then a nice little bit of artwork of her on the other side. On the back of the box we've got another digital render of the figure on one side with our Mighty Morphin Power Rangers logo showing us what we should be getting inside the box. So we've got Rita in a nice pretty little dress, two sets of hands, two different changeable faces, her staff and a nice little lightning effect piece. Ah! <laughs> Sorry about that, I had to do it. But anyway, looking at the figure, she does look absolutely beautiful. So this is as she comes out of the box. So her little neck attire, whatever that is, is a little bit bent, but it looks fine. Her headdress looks absolutely beautiful, as does her face and all the detail on the part of her bandana or whatever that is. And all the bits around the hair looks absolutely beautiful. So very happy with that. Her dress does look nice and it is pretty baggy. So as soon as I took it out of the box and started bending arms and stuff, I was a little bit worried that I'm gonna bend them the right way. So you can roll them up. So just make sure that they're all facing the right way and whatever. And there is a nice flesh tone underneath that dress. On the back, we do have some nicely painted feathers and all in all does look like an absolutely beautiful figure. So there's a lot more detail on this one than the old one. I will show a comparison at the end. But for now, I am very, very pleased with this. I did get this from Hasbro Pulse. All in all, I am very happy with this figure. She looks beautiful. The detail on the face is very nice. She comes with a lot of accessories and stuff. So taking a look at some of the accessories, we do have her staff, which is a lot better painted than the old one. Got a nice gold and a little red ball in the middle. Looks very nice. They've used a really, really nice blue that really pops against the black and the gold there. She also comes with a lightning effect piece. So this just sits on top of the staff and I did have this in a very strange way. I think I used this bit to go in there like that and then uh, that way around. And then I just poked that little bit through the swirly Part of the effect piece just to keep it on there and it does sit on quite nicely once you get used to putting it on she comes with two extra sets of hands so we've got a pointy finger and a closed fist as well as another grab hand and another pose hand so this these are the same that's on the figure already but the opposite way around they're all painted really nicely and the gold rings are painted well on there it's not anything smudging onto the hand or nothing like that and finally, something new that we've not seen before in the Lightning Collection. Now, I don't know if they've used this on another line or anything like that, or whether this is the first time they've tried this, but I've never seen anything like this. Usually it is changeable heads, but we've got some changeable faces. So they do have little plugs in the back. And there is her not very happy. She's probably just lost against the Power Rangers face. She's got a bit more of a happy face. So this is a bit more menacing with an open mouth. She's about to make Goldar grow and that looks very well painted as well and to change these face place it is pretty easy so you just get your nail underneath the face i put my nail under the chin and just pull from there and it just does sort of work its way out and then you can just guide it with the face there's obviously only one way for it to go and it just slots on very nicely for you to be able to change i really really hope that one day 
they will just give us some hands and some faces to get a Robo Rito. And whether they put them in a pack with another figure like they did with Rocky's Tomfers, that would be absolutely amazing. And all they'd need to do is just give you one set of hands and one face, and that would be brilliant. And uh, I know that I would buy an extra one of these to be able to display that. Changeable face is a really good idea. Cuts down the cost on being able to change out the heads and stuff like that. So I'm all for that and it is a really, really good idea. A couple of short comparisons here. So although you can't really see a whole lot because of her dress, as I said, she does have the single jointed elbows and then she does for some reason have the new knee joints and stuff like that. It's just a bit of a weird situation that they've gone with where they've gone for the new pinless joints on the legs and then for some reason they've kept the single joint on the arm, which is very strange. I feel like it'd just be a bit safer if she had elbow joints the same as these. So these ones are obviously part of the new pinless figures where she's got the double joints on the uh, elbows and that there. And obviously on the original one, she didn't. Then comparing her with the old Rita. So this is the one from the Lord's Ed and Rita two pack. They came with all the accessories for their wedding and stuff like that. So you, the, I never really thought anything bad of this figure. I thought that the face was okay and it was definitely the best version of Rita that we'd seen up until that point. But I never disliked the face sculpt or anything like that. She was a good figure. The paint missing on the staff was a little bit annoying. You can see that with this one, there's a lot more effort gone into it, a lot more paint work. All right, there's a higher price point on it, but this definitely does the job and it looks absolutely beautiful. Moving on to the final thoughts of the figure. So she is a beautiful figure. And the only downside for me is that the dress is probably so baggy. She is very top heavy as well, so getting her into a good pose is a bit difficult, which is why I've had to add the stand to the bottom. She does come with a nice amount of accessories and she's a definite must to add to the remastered collection. Although she's not branded as a remastered figure, she does come with the box, which is very similar and has the same sort of artwork on it. The faces she comes with are very nice, so you can swap them out really, really easy and they're a lot easier than I thought they would be to swap. The paint on the staff and on the figure is beautiful and I'm more than happy to pay deluxe price for it. Comparing her to the old figure, she is a lot better. She definitely captures the likeness of the character. Let me know your thoughts on this figure. I'd be interested to read your comments down below. And if you enjoyed this, please leave a like. If you want to see more, please consider subscribing. But for this figure, that is it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you all very, very soon.